It looks like Michael J. Fox is coming out and opining on the current state of the entertainment industry, saying the people working nowadays just aren't talented like they used to be. And I know that might be kind of self-aggrandizing saying like, yeah, back in my day, people actually had talent, unlike the kids these days working in it. And I know it kind of seems like there's a little bit of a disconnect there, but in some sense, there is some truth to what he's saying, because if you actually think about it, there's really not the movie star like we used to have. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some people who can drive a crowd to the theaters, but it's not like how it used to be, and famously Quentin Tarantino said Chris Evans isn't the star in the MCU, Captain America is the star, and people go out to movies to see characters, and I'm not going to say that's 100% true, but I think that's more true than what it's not. And a lot of this information coming from Michael J. Fox it has to do with the interview that he did recently with People Magazine, where he kind of was asked about the current state of the entertainment industry and what he thinks about it. And this is what he had to say. There's an expression I referred to when they gave me an honorary Academy Award. Somebody said to me the day before they were talking about getting this award and being famous, and they said, you're 80s famous, Fox recalled. I thought, wow, that's cool. 80s famous. Right. We were different. He added, we were tougher, we didn't have social media, we didn't have any of that crap, we were just famous, left to our own resources, and it was an amazing time. And there is some truth to that with social media kind of changing the landscape, but I will get more on that in a little bit too, but first let's just continue on with this. We used to bust our butt, our acting muscles, and we watched other actors and sit around with other actors and talk about acting and talk about it, Fox continued. And now you've got people who just go like, Who's your sweater? What's your sweater you're wearing? And what's that dance step? And you're the most famous person in the world. For the most part, I think he's pretty accurate about that one. Now, I'm not saying movie stars never had an image that they're trying to get across, but you have to understand the way things were in the past. There was kind of a certain mystique surrounding celebrities, and that's why you got movie stars and people just want to see the movie star because right now there's kind of an oversaturation where for certain celebrities, you see them so much that suddenly there's not that desire to see them on a movie or things like that, but that's kind of a small portion of it. A lot of this has to do with the fact that anytime you hear any personal information about them, it was carefully crafted by their team of professionals in order to try to convey the message that they're trying to get across. But nowadays in the day of social media, you the veil is sort of lifted and you can hear things straight from the horse's mouth and a lot of people don't actually like what they have to say. now. Some people will say that makes it feel like that they're closer to them, and that's true to a sense, but on the other hand, when you're closer to someone, then you might realize that you actually don't like this person. This article came out last fall titled How Social Media Killed the Movie Star, so it's not like this is anything new, what I'm saying here. It starts off uh, just kind of saying the background of social media and the history behind it and how it's kind of taken over in the entertainment industry. I'm not going to read it for you, but I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video if you want to check it out yourself. That's after you finish watching this video or click in a new tab. Anyway, this is the interesting part I saw from this. Real-time interactions on social media killed the mystery behind most movie stars. It's kind of what I was saying earlier. Staying power as expected, the older generations have largely kept to themselves, and they are the ones who still enjoy some degree of respect. And it does kind of go on into this article and say, like, a lot of the older movie stars that are still working these days are the ones that are kind of the most popular ones. And it even says at one point in this article, you can Google like most popular stars uh, working now and it'll be a bunch of older actors. So I did that myself, uh, most popular modern actors. And you look at the list that they have here. Okay. Uh, okay. Natalie Portman, she's younger. Uh, Chris Walken, William Foe, Tom Hanks, uh, Kate Blanchett. So you can see it's pretty much just a lot of older celebrities. There's really, I think Natalie Portman is the youngest person on that list right there. And even then she was been working in the entertainment industry since she was a little kid when it was before social media, but it seems like a lot, not all of them, but there's a lot of these actors who don't have that kind of social media persona compare that to a lot of the younger stars where they can't help, but voice their opinions online when it comes to various other issues. And, it's talking about how that kind of ruins the mystique surrounding them, but it was like I was saying, a lot of people don't like these people when they actually know too much about them, and that's why it's kind of hurting things, and that's why a lot of studios aren't necessarily building things around a particular star. They're building it around franchises because that's something that's kind of void of all that. Unfortunately, 
you have that interaction between the fan base and these people in charge. It's even talking about here how even there's that interaction between the fans and the creatives in charge of these projects. And that can cause a lot of problems too. Creatives go on the same route. Some even becoming confrontational on these platforms when audiences are critical of their creative output or lackluster work. The disconnection between the movie star, the creatives, and even the heads of studios is a thing of the past. Today, audiences will air their grievances in real time, letting studios know how they feel about their offerings. And I think that's a pretty big thing with this altogether, where if you're a talent or a creative or an executive at a studio or someone involved with the movie and you're attacked on social media, resist the urge to engage with them because I know that's easier said than done, especially if they're saying really vile statements about you. But think of it this way. If a trailer for your movie came out and someone online saw it and didn't like it and another person didn't like it as well, but they decided to go after the director or the actor in that movie or something like that and made even real vile statements about them. Do you think it's going to help the movie by engaging with that and trying to attack them back? Because best case scenario is it's really just not going to dissuade anyone else from not watching your movie. But more than not, what happens is a lot of people see that and be like, well, this person's attacking this per member of the audience or whatever. So it just dissuades them from actually watching it. So there's really not much good to be gained from that other than the temporary satisfaction on the part of that creative. Like, oh yeah, I showed them. It's like, well, yeah, but you also turned away potential audience members by doing that. So well done. And I hope that victory was worth it because it really doesn't work out too well when they do that too often. And this kind of coincides with a lot of other celebrities on social media who are use it as an opportunity to kind of push their own political agendas or their own political beliefs. If anything, social media also breeds contempt towards actors, especially since many of them use their platform to expand on their own political views, which always opens a divisive breach between those who agree with the public figure and those who don't. The article also talks about how a lot of studios being risk averse would try to bank on franchises because those usually were a safe bet. And that's why they would hire people not necessarily because they were talented, but because their image fit the franchise that they were trying to work on, which is kind of what Michael J. Fox was saying when I was talking about it at the start of this video. They were hiring people based off of the image and not the talent. Unfortunately, though, that really hasn't worked. If we've seen the box office the last couple of years, these big franchises would fail at the box office because there's nothing that really drives audiences out to watch it in theaters. They just figure like, well, I'll just wait to watch it on streaming service because I don't necessarily care to watch it in theaters. So studios need to do something different. And I think a lot of these actors and talent and creatives behind these movies need to do something in order to try to incentivize audience members to come out to support it in theaters. There's a lot of things that they can do, but one of the things kind of in the subject of this video is just to try to cultivate the movie star image, which has been lost. And I think there's some younger people out there who are kind of embracing that mindset where they're not necessarily engaging on social media that some people are. They're trying to, in a way, keep that mystique alive between the talent and the audience. And maybe that's going to be something that happens more in the future. But I think that's really what's needed in order to try to keep social media from killing the movie star entirely. But let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Do you agree that the movie star is dead or do you think it can be revived if it is dead? In fact, uh, what do you think would be the case to actually bring it back? Cause I want to know what other people have to say about it. You've heard my thoughts on this one, but if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button. If you want to stay up to date with the latest in entertainment news and don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you.